According to statistics, flying is infinitely safer than driving. I mean, consider. Last year in this country, almost a quarter of a million people were seriously injured by driving and then crashing cars. You know how many people were seriously injured by jetpack travel? None. None. So either we get the folks who are on this television show jetpacks, or, you know, we teach them how to be safer behind the wheel. Personally, I'd rather go with the rocket rigs, because educating lousy motorists is something I've been doing at the Driver Rehabilitation Center for 13 years. 13 years! And I just really like to try doing something new. I mean... Could it really be any worse? I... I guess it could, actually. This is Canada's worst driver. My name is Christina, and I nominated my best friend Melanie for Canada's worst driver. Oh, my God. Melanie hates parking. I'm gonna, like, pee myself. Hi, I'm Shanna. I nominated my brother Shane for Canada's Worst Driver. These cars are supposed to wait. Shut up. Shane hates parking. How do you feel now? I need a smoke. <laughs> My name is Pat. I nominated my son, Adam, for Canada's Worst Driver. Am I going to make it? Adam hates parking. I, can't, I never know where the back of my car is. My name is Jillian, and I nominated my friend Ashley as Canada's Worst Driver. I can't do this Ashley hates parking. Am I in? Ish. My name is April, and I nominated my husband for Canada's Worst Driver. April's husband, Travis, hates parking! No. I can't do it. I can't do it. Every year on Canada's Worst Driver, I asked the nominees if they've ever committed a hit and run. And without fail, at least one of them says, oh yeah, actually, I did damage in a, in a parking lot, and then I slinked away without ever admitting to the paint peeling infraction. Well, let me tell you, we're about to watch this year's batch like hawks, because it's time for this year's nominees to see if they can find a spot in Canada's worst parking lot. Come back here! Come back here! This is Canada's worst parking lot. And these are the vehicles Canada's worst drivers will be parking. This 2001 Chevy Express van goes to Melanie. Hey, old Christina. This Chevy Caprice goes to Travis. Yes. Our Cadillac Coupe de Ville is making Ashley happy. <gasps> I'm driving the pink Cadillac. The decommissioned cop car will be Shane's. Yes, sir. And because he told us that he wants to be a professional chauffeur, Adam is in our limousine. How am I going to put a limo in a parking spot? Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Yeah, sure. Your option. We're all going to behave in a courteous parking lot manner, correct? Absolutely. Let's park! Who's going first? Someone go! I think there might be a handicap parking. I think it's a freaking boat. Mm-hmm. Just think, if you can park this, you can park our little car. Oh, yeah. Right out of the gate, Canada's worst parking lot is full. There's no parking spots. 
but not just full of Canada's worst drivers. The f am I parking in here? This is bull But full of our blocker cars as well. Seems to be no spots in Canada's worst parking lot. There's no parking spots. Here, parking spot, parking spot, parking spot, parking spot. You get out? Go, you always out. You don't get to make the rules. They leave when they want to leave, Ashley. Spots will start opening soon. Here we go. First parking spot to open up is a handicapped spot. You can do this. No, that's handicapped. Oh. Can't go in there. Darn. Anna? Yep. Put on your blinker. I already have. Man, now there's a guy that doesn't reverse much. Hey, you don't got one of these! Melanie has a handicapped parking permit because at home, she has two children with special needs. Stupid. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, you have to angle No, it's handicapped. Was it? Yep. Ah, never mind. Get lined up and do it in one. You got this, Melanie. For the challenge, drivers can only reverse once. Run reverse, one shot. That's the rehab center's head driving instructor, Tim Danter. He's watching every move the bad drivers make, alongside our therapist, Shamala Kiru, our legal expert, Cam Woolley, and our high speed driving instructor, Philippe Letourneau. They have to back up in one shot. They cannot go back and forward like we do in real life because it's a challenge. At the end of every episode, these experts help me decide who should graduate and go home. At the end of our series, they'll help me decide who will be named Canada's worst driver. You're holding up traffic, Melanie Park. Stop, Ashley. They're all burping. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. You have to be nice. No, but it's a real life situation. I know. See? No. Parking lots can be ugly places. Stressed and out of alignment, Melanie parks by going back and forth multiple times, which she knows is against this challenge's rules. Holy f When drivers break one of our rules, or hit an object, they must leave the parking lot for a lap of shame. So am I allowed to parallel park? Yes, you are allowed to parallel park. Yay! As long as you back up in one, you're good. Signal light on. That spot is smaller than her car. Back wheels. Back bumper. It's one thing to be ambitious when you're parking, but to choose a spot that's actually smaller than your vehicle it's rarely going to work. And by rarely, I mean, um, let me think here. Never. I tried. Ashley must now do a penalty lap. No, you didn't hit that on your penalty lap. Oh. Well, that's going to cost her another lap. You wanted the pink Cadillac. You parallel park in there, Shane. Once Shane screws up the parallel parking, clunk. And Travis also botches it. You hit? Yep. Melanie decides to take a crack at it. Oh, her. I think there's more people outside the parking lot doing laps of shame than there is on the inside. She's going to hit it, too. Melanie stops before hitting. But Adam does not. No one has parked. But all five drivers have done the lap of shame. Oh. When we come back. I'll do another lap of shame. There are more laps of shame than parking. Say shame, shame, shame three times fast. No. Canada's worst drivers are attempting to park in Canada's worst parking lot. Are you gonna make it? Oh, 
No, I'm not. He's he's not gonna make it. Son of a shame, Shane, shame. I'm waiting for another spot. I'm not doing that parallel again. Done. The next spot that opens up. The spot is the spot. The spot. Where? Where? Right there. The spot. Should be a slam dunk for Travis. Okay. A little bit more. Maybe more. Should have gone a lot more forward. A lot more. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> you know where you botched that? I went up too far and didn't take a sharp enough angle. You didn't go up far enough. What you want to do is bring your car to the left here. Yep. So you're a full car width over. Okay. Then turn right. Oh, okay. So you end up facing this way, which allows your butt end to already be in the direction you want to go. Okay. That way, when you swing it, you can reverse it and just hook the nose so it'll front end swing into line and you're in in one. Okay. It's an easy gimme of a parking space. And now that gimme of a space. Get out of the way! Is a gift for Melanie. That's what you want to do. We're going to have our first parker. On this challenge, once drivers start reversing into a spot. Keep going. They're not allowed to pull forward to readjust. Good, good, good. <laughs> Woo! You did it! Stressed Melanie will now rush to the bathroom. Got the worry poops. More information than I needed, <laughs> but hey. Ashley has had to do more laps of shame. <gasps> Ashley! Sorry! Than anyone else here. You, oh my God! And while she's on this penalty lap, Melanie returns to her vehicle and exits the space because I want her to practice more. You want me to practice? Yeah. No. Ashley is looking like the next Parker. Maybe this is going to be close. This is going to be a hit. No. Please don't hit it. Yeah, that's oh, a hit. Yeah. Oh, you could see that in your mirror. Shane should be able to get his much smaller car into that spot, but. Oh, no. I made the same mistake Ashley did. He doesn't get himself lined up correctly either. Ashley is finally poised to park. Can you see? <gasps> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the line. I didn't pull ahead and I didn't hit anything. I passed! Yay! Yay! Ashley really shouldn't be this proud. So. She had to do the lap of shame six times. Travis will be the next person to park. Come on, you got this. Got lots of space there. Yeah. Yeah, this should be an easy one. Easy. Oh, but. No! I'm sorry. Oh, dude, it was a slam dunk. I know. It was a slam dunk. Damn it. Friggin' had it. Yeah, you did. Will Shane have this parking spot? We have our third parker. Got it. You park, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. Shane says he's really improving. You wouldn't have attempted that parking spot two weeks ago? No. I gotta take this off. It's eight million degrees. While Adam overheats, oh my gosh. Travis gets set for a diagonal spot. What did I discuss to you before about getting into a spot like that? We need to angle myself so I'm, my butt end's pointing towards it. Correct. Travis knows where to end up, but he doesn't know how to get there. Now, now I'm going to teach you something. Go back to where you were. Stop. That's where you were. Yep. Right? If you bring it here, then you've got room to your right to get the nose forward and the butt end basically parallel to that. Go forward. Keep going. Yeah, exactly. Take the wheel off. You're doing right. And now go past it a little bit. And now hook it to the right. And you're going to be getting the butt end in alignment. 
While getting into alignment, Travis inexplicably turns left. To the right, to the right, to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right. There's no reason you can't get back from there. OK. I think you just did it in one shot. Travis wants to keep practicing. I'd say you should do it again. OK. Adam does have the hardest vehicle to park, but. So let's let's get into a spot. OK. Let's do it. All right. After all the lessons Adam has had, see that? Oh, I'm in between two spots. Mm. Parking a limo shouldn't be this hard. Am I on the lines? Adam is the worst at parking lot parking. Does the dream of being a limo driver still live? Yeah. When we come back, it's trailer reversing time. The struggle is real. Aside from just being taught and tested here at the rehab center. As we approach the railway crossing, you ease off the gas. Okay. Canada's worst drivers have also been on public roads with Tim Danter multiple times. I hate this so bad. Now. I can't go. We're tailoring those public drives to the specific needs of Canada's worst drivers. I hate that so bad. That was pretty good. You did really good. Oh my god. And for Melanie, that means merging onto and off of the highway. Would you be willing to, um, at some point, um, have Christina sit here and you drive? Oh my god, there's a biker. Yeah, but what's he doing? Oh my god. So oh make a choice. God. Are you going to stick no, here or are you going to no, feed him? No, what's he doing? No. OK, now speed up. He's speed up. Speed up, right? Figure it out. Come on. Melanie does manage to merge safely onto the highway. Do a lane change left? No. But that's all she's willing to do. You want to go one more with no, Christina no, beside no, you? No, 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 no. No? Oh, my god. Adam also wants highway driving. When it's safe, let's do a left lane change. So I want to signal, shoulder check, no one's there, and I can go. Nice. There we are, we're in the left lane. Travis, on the other hand, wants residential driving experience. Don't see anybody coming, so we're good to go. OK. And parking lot practice. Got it parked. When was the last time you did drive by yourself? Never. Travis's first ever public solo drive is in a congested parking lot. And while he doesn't park quickly, he's not stressed at all. And I'm parked. And Travis makes the entire 40-kilometer drive back to the rehab center. I'm going to try to do a lane change here. Completely unassisted. I don't have any nervousness or any worry or anything like that at all. Shane is not calm. No. He's on the highway, trying to get into the exit lane. He's, uh... But he can't do it. No, he's... Come on, buddy. So now let's get on the brake here. You jerk. You wouldn't let me in. I took it anyways. Did you do it safely? Probably not. You know what I find to be the most tedious type of driving? Dealing with a long, 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 long trailer. Dealing with a long, 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 very, very long trailer is the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers. But first, they'll get a trailer handling lesson from Tim Danter. Have you backed a trailer before? God, no. No? No. <laughs> the critical thing that drivers need to know about trailer reversing is that when you steer left, the trailer will go right. 
I saw when you were teaching this last year that you have your hand there and your thumb sticking out. The direction your thumb is pointing when you turn the wheel and your thumb goes in that direction, that's the direction the trailer's going to turn. Did you grasp that? If your right hand is positioned at the bottom of the wheel while reversing, when you steer this way, you're turning the vehicle to the right. But your trailer will veer left. The direction your thumb is pointing. Surprisingly, Shane doesn't need this lesson because he works in a gravel pit and he reverses trailers every day. See, when I've done before, it's like second nature. When I haven't done it before, it's like, holy this is new. And I don't like it. I'm impressed. Travis is less impressive. No, I'm overthinking it again. In fact, went the wrong way. He's completely baffled. I'm, I'm psyching myself out on this one. Adam gets the hang of it, though. Got it? Yeah. Thank awesome. you so much. My pleasure. And even though Ashley has a rough start, oh, my I'm not getting this for some reason. She eventually does get it. You ready for this? I am. Good. Melanie, on the other hand, is a completely yeah. different story. I don't feel good. Since being in rehab, do you want to take a bottle of water? Just put the car in park. Melanie has spent her evenings partying like a teenager. Do you want to get out? Mm -hmm. No, I want to stay sitting for a minute. OK. Now, she's shutting down. Oh, I really feel like I'm going to just like pass out. OK, I want you to concentrate on breathing. We have trained medics on set. You OK? I feel really lightheaded. And our head medic decides to call an ambulance. You don't have to be sad, though, because it's time for a remake of your favorite 1980s sitcom, The Trailer Parking Boys. The Trailer Parking Boys was filmed on location in front of a live studio audience. Feeling like you're maybe in and around the graduating time? I, th I think so. <laughs> Favorite thing you've gotten out of rehab so far? Uh, using the mirrors. How was that? I think I just got in one. Who are you? <laughs> Fright? Who are you? The guy who showed up was afraid of his own shadow mm -hmm. and didn't like to try these things. Mm -hmm. I, I feel fantastic. Aww. He feels fantastic. Let's test. He does. He feels fantastic. This guy feels fantastic. <laughs> You're gonna get this on your first shot, my friend. Actually, he's not. Adam bumps to his right and scrapes to his left. How do you get out of that? I pull forward. There you go, you're clear back here now. Me putting my head here is like a beginning of a stupid YouTube clip. Oh boy, I nearly got crushed. On this attempt. Oh, there we go. Adam achieves penetration. Like the man said, it's in. It's in. Did the man say that? The man said it's in. Who'd he say that to? I don't know. The trailer is in, but will the mirror make it? Oh my lord, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Not every day that a man dressed like a tennis ball parks a hundred foot long trailer. <laughs> Ashley is experimenting, and it isn't working. Oh, for sakes. If you know that Tim said, hold the wheel like this and steer that way to go that way, do that. Don't start experimenting with the opposite, because maybe it'll work now that you're in a parallel universe. No, just do what you were taught. For the next 20 minutes. I want it to go this 
way. Ashley hits and scrapes and mostly rubs. I'm not feeling it and I'm not hearing it drag. This. So that's, that's why, that's why we put the mirrors on us. So you can see, you see. Okay, did Philippe ever say to you to listen where you want to go? No. No, you should look. Okay. You should look. Okay. 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 So look. Shane finishes this challenge in less than four minutes. That's pretty good, man. You killed that. That was not me! <laughs> start, Camaro, start. Good car. When we come back... Hard to get away? Canada's worst drivers learn how to do a fast turnaround... Oh, my God! ...using the handbrake. I did it? I did it? That's a J turn. And now, a history lesson for millennials and folks who are even younger. I love that jingle. Kids, did you know that the emergency brake, that handle that's between the driver's seat and the passenger seat, did you know that it used to be called the parking brake? And you were expected to pull it every time you parked. Crazy, no, but true. These days, it's called the emergency brake, and it's there strictly for emergencies, like, say, if your real brakes failed, which happens never. So, why do automobile manufacturers still put this brake in cars? Well, it's so that if you find yourself in a closed course, in a safe environment, you can do something that's called an e-brake J-turn. It looks like this. Learning how to do an e-brake J-turn is the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers. But first, they'll get a J-turn lesson from Philippe Letourneau. Ready for more training? 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 Yes, sir. Yes. We need a little bit of speed. About 30, 35. Let go to gas. Go one way. Go the other way. And do the J-turn. Once again, those steps are get up to 35K an hour, release the gas, turn one way, then the other, then pull the brake. The J-turn. Okay. When I pull on the emergency brake, which wheel are locking? Oh, I have no idea. That would be the front wheels? Front. Nope. It locks the rear wheels? Locks the rear wheels. Adam, you're the only one that got the answer right. When Canada's worst drivers attempt this maneuver, a variety of things go wrong. Let's go to gas. One way. Travis lets go of the wheel and doesn't steer enough. Let go to gas. A little bit one way. Hard the other way. Adam gets scared and hits the foot brake. Where's your foot? On the brake. Uh. Uh. Shane stares at the cone and steers into it. Don't look at the cone. Just pretend we're making a pat around the cone and then break. And Ashley gets so discombobulated, she doesn't break at all. Let go to gas, let go to gas. A little bit one way. Oh, no, 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 I didn't do it right. It's not a complicated maneuver, but... A little bit one way, or the other way. Pull, 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 pull. So now it's just a question of timing. The unfamiliar timing of the steps. is proving to be difficult for Canada's worst drivers. No. Eventually, though. Whoa, whoa. Perfect. They all do get the hang of it. Look this way, around the cone. Pull. <gasps> did you do it? I did it? That's a J-turn. For the super fun handbrake J-turn challenge, Drivers will have to perform the maneuver in this confined space around a foam figure. 
And they'll be doing it in the very same car they learned in. Our 1988 Mustang. Put off the gas, one way, the other way, then whip the car around, baby! As with so much in life, this challenge is all about timing. Ashley will do the maneuver around a foam figure of Jillian. <laughs> Aren't you doing training, Philippe? Uh, probably the worst. On her first attempt, 20. Ashley lets go of the handbrake and hits the footbrake. Oh my god! If you lock up the front wheels, you'd have no steering ability. So we just saw the, the, the best example. She went straight into the wall. The foot brake was on halfway through the first turn. Was it? Yep. OK. Oh. Let's do it. Let's do it. No. On Ashley's second attempt, she punches the brake again. Do not put your foot on that brake. Then she pulls the handbrake too soon. <laughs> Ashley's crashes are all being caused by her vision. Instead of looking where she wants to go, she's staring at the back wall. She never wants to turn her head towards the right. Sakes. Keep in mind that Ashley is not someone who should have a driver's license. She openly admits to the fact that she failed her test miserably and then cried and cried and cried at the end and said she was going to be in trouble. And then the male, I'm going to underline that, the male adjudicator said, oh, don't cry, honey. It's OK. And then gave her her license even though she failed. Yeah, that's who's on Canadian roads. Here's her fifth and final chance. Thirty, thirty-five. Don't put your foot on the brake. Ooh, 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 oh my God, you were so close! Ah! Ashley has done sixteen challenges in rehab, and she's failed all but two of them. I might be Candace's worst driver. I'm not going to deny it. When we come back, the remaining nominators are understandably terrified. <laughs> Melanie collapsed from exhaustion earlier today. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Now, though, she's posting goofy pictures from her hospital bed. And she says she'll be released later this afternoon. Which means that she'll be missing the J-turn challenge that Shane is about to attempt. You, you don't want to graduate at all. You want to be here right until the end? If I can. Shane will be here till the end if he doesn't think about our challenges before doing them. Not prepared. Two hands on the wheel. That's going to go wrong. For a handbrake J-turn, you need a hand on the handbrake. I forgot about the brake. Come on, Shane, man. This is like sports, you know? You got to get in the ready position. And if you're in the ready position for the e-brake challenge, one hand is on the wheel, one hand is on the e-brake. Are you in the ready position? Yeah. No, you're not. One hand's on the walkie-talkie. Put that down and get in the ready position. Not having your hand on the e-brake is ridiculous. His hand is there now. Will he pull it at the right time? Absolutely not. Whoa. What happened there? Shane stomped on the gas pedal is what happened. And the worst part is, Shane has no idea he did that. I didn't touch the brake, I pulled the e-brake, I slammed through the wall. You, you didn't hit the foot brake, you're right there. But your foot was busy. My foot was on the gas. Oh, hell yeah. In, in terms of my 
beliefs about unsafe driving, the worst of all is mistaking the gas pedal for the brake. The worst. Turn up the good, turn down the suck. Hey, you did it. Shane passes again and smiles again. I passed. There you go. Yeah. Travis needs practice driving alone. So, I can do this. He's all alone for this challenge. Let's see what he does on his first attempt. What he does is panic and hit the brake. Ah, darn it. Twice in a row. God damn it. When you engage this turn, the yep. foot light came on both times. I never even realized I was doing it. Both times. Now Travis is so flustered, he's forgotten to put his hand on the emergency brake. Oh, no. Crap. Damn it. But even when his hand is on the brake, Travis isn't looking where he wants to go. So you came that way, saw the wall, or were you looking over here? I, I don't think I was looking over there. I was looking at the wall. On his final attempt, April is in the passenger seat. Will that help or hinder Travis? Ah, so, so close. close. You know what else is close? The local optometrist. And Travis is getting hooked up with a new prescription. K-H-D-Z-N. And a much wider lens. Significantly better peripheral vision. Adam. <laughs> fails. Those sandals in here. Uh, three times in a row. And then he tries one with me coaching him. Now off. I pulled it too early. Philippe, what do you think I did wrong there? You're not looking where you want to go. He needs to look around the foam figure. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's money, buddy. Oh, oh just oh. the smallest tap. Looking where you want to go <laughs> is the key to everything. It was the looking, right? Yeah, boom, absolutely, boom. absolutely. When we come back, do you want to graduate this episode? Um. The experts choose this episode's graduate. You are this episode's graduate. It's time for the experts and me to chat with Canada's worst drivers and choose this episode's graduate. And it won't be Melanie, who yesterday had to bow out due to exhaustion. And it's about to happen again. Can I sit down? You okay? I don't feel good. Okay, let's go, let's go. I just feel really hot. Yep, yeah, nope, we're done then. While Melanie gets shuttled off to her hotel, the business of choosing this episode's graduate continues. Do you want to graduate this episode? Half of me says yes, half of me says no. Ashley doesn't want to graduate because she's still striving to become perfect. Me and Jill had a conversation about this, and I kind of explained to her how I guess how, how I was raised. Like I, everything had to be perfect. And if it wasn't perfect, it's like you get in trouble. So I guess maybe that stuck with me, I don't know. Travis knows he isn't perfect. Does he want to graduate? I think I do. You actually do? I do. Ding, 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 ding. I never thought I'd hear you say it. I know I have a ton of practice to do, but I, I think I'm ready to get into the real world and become a good driver. 
Good drivers have peripheral vision. And Travis's new glasses provide that. Between these glasses and the originals, I have another 20 degrees to 25 degrees of wow. vision. Good. When Shane drove with Tim on the highway, another driver wouldn't let him into the exit lane. I ended up cutting him off because I was going to miss my turn. Yes. And then the bleep, 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 bleep started following me. And if Tim wasn't there, how would you have reacted? I would have slammed on my brakes, waited for him to get out of the car, and if he came up to my window, I would knock him the f out. The short list for this episode's graduate is Adam, Shane, and Travis. There was zero flags with Adam. Adam's grinding of the limousine door was a big red flag for Shamala. I'm going to say Adam's off the short list. I think Travis should be off. You think Travis should be off? I think Travis should be on the short list. Well, I think Shane should be off the short list. No, Shane did the best during well, this episode. We got a debate. First one this season. The experts this evening had quite the debate over who should get their license and go home. And in the end, it came down to... Y'all know that Melanie went home sick, eh? Yeah. Oddly enough, Shane, it was you who drove the best on our challenge courses. Yet, in public, you exhibited some wacky road rage. You cut a guy off, and then in the studio, you said you actually wanted to fight the guy. And when you say stuff like that to us, it makes us realize that you absolutely need more time here. So, this episode's graduate is the one of you two who can most clearly envision themselves driving away this evening. So this is Travis's license. Congratulations, sir. You're this episode's graduate. Oh, you're more than welcome, sir. Yeah, yeah. Give us the hug. Well done, buddy. Before coming to rehab, Travis was the most timid driver we'd ever met. I think we're going to be here a while. We saw him wait at a left turn for 13 minutes, unable to find the courage to pull into traffic. But in rehab, Travis took chances. It's a success. It's a success. Stopped making excuses. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And allowed himself to learn. There we go. You're good at this. Never thought I could do this. You're perfect, boss. And that is something he's not used to doing in his normal life. I have learn more about not only driving, but about myself in the past week than I have probably in the past five years, 10 years. Is that right? Yes. Travis now has independence. I'm feeling good. I thought it'd be months before I even tried this. I'm so damn proud of you. <laughs> so proud of you. I knew you had it in you. You just had to find it yourself. Congratulations, buddy. Have fun out there, hey? No more excuses, though, hey, right? Yes. None. That's over. That's done. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> Join us next episode when we name the three finalists for the unwanted title Canada's Worst Driver. On the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. Oh. The nominees do a high-speed slalom in a limousine. Son of a they practice their tight space maneuvering in a school bus. Oh, I didn't see that. And hell 
hasn't frozen over. But on a hot summer day, there is an icy corner. Are you reliving the mailbox incident? It's okay. Sorry. is real.